Since I started attending Fresh Hope, the thing that I've learned the most is that even though we all have our unique circumstances, that we don't have to do this alone and you don't have to struggle alone um, with a mental health disorder, Fresh Hope has given me a community to connect with other people um, who have uh, disorder similar to mine and mental health struggle or struggles similar to mine. Um, the program has taught me how to deal with my mental health disorder. Um, it has also been a great outlet for my feelings. Um, it helps me lessen the burden of having a mental health disorder. Um, I now know through my support group at CTK, my husband and God's enduring love, I don't have to do this alone anymore. Um, I now have a stable foundation that allows me to work um, to help me overcome my mental health disorder. And I'd never heard the phrase overcoming a mental health disorder before Fresh Hope. And that really fills me with so much hope and so much um, to look forward to in the future. Um, though my mental health disorder will mostly be a chronic issue um, that I continually have to be aware of, Fresh Hope has taught me with the right tools and medical support that I can alleviate the symptoms of my mental health condition to the point where I can be capable of living a healthy, symptom-free life. Um, when Hillary asked me to do this today, um, I didn't hesitate to say yes, because more than anything, I want other people to know that we're here. Um, I want other people to experience what I've experienced, um, to share in our community, to benefit from this wonderful, wonderful program that has been started here, um, because it really is just such a unique experience and such a positive, supportive group. But more than anything, um, if you're struggling out there, if you have a mental health disorder, if you feel alone, um, that this is the right group for you and this is the wonderful environment and a great support system that you can join. Um, without a doubt, Fresh Hope has been the best thing that has happened to me this past year in regards to training my mental health. Um, it allows me to be more open with the people in my group, which then allows me to turn that openness to my husband, to my doctor, to my family, to let me seek the right medical attention. Um, it has also helped me not rely on my husband so much um, as my only support system, as my only trustworthy person in my life. Um, and so, Fresh Hope has also taken the burden off of him and our relationship, um, which I think has been a really great positive thing between the two of us. I mean, the, the decision to attend Fresh Hope initially was not an easy one, just because it's so difficult to talk about mental health issues in any sort of public setting. It Societally, it is just something that people unfortunately keep so internally, um, either to themselves or to, to within their household unit. And it can be really scary to think about talking openly about um, your own problems or your loved one's problems within a group setting. Um, or because all of the situation is internal, it can be easy to think that you don't need help or that talking to others and revealing uh, some of your toughest secrets um, can can be uh, overwhelming. It, it feels like it could be harmful in some way, but in, in reality, it's just the exact opposite. And that within minutes of us coming to Fresh Hope and starting to talk to others about the situations we were both going through and, and how collectively we, we work through these challenges, it became that much easier. I mean, it was an instant um, feeling of a burden being lifted, that, that we had people who knew what we were going through um, as someone with a, a mental health issue and a loved one. And, and in talking to others in, in that setting, um, it, it just became something that made you feel so welcomed and loved and supported. And, and that has only grown over time. I think for me, the choice of coming to Fresh Hope wasn't a hard one. I'd been looking for something similar. I'd been wanting to start something new to help me 
with my mental health disorder. Um, also, I think it was an easy decision just because we wanted to be a part of what they were doing for CMG and we wanted to be supportive. So Fresh Hope was something that was came out of uh, the CMG project. And I think we both did it not because we thought it would be helpful, but because we wanted to be supportive of a new group at church. And it has become such a helpful thing and has gone so beyond why we had joined in the beginning. Uh, so one of the best parts about Fresh Hope is these tenants that we recite collectively as a group at each meeting. Some that are said by the, the people with uh, a mental health issue, some that are said by their loved ones, and then some that are said together. Uh, and even at our very first meeting, as we sat next to each other reciting those tenants, it, they instantly gave us a vocabulary to, to talk about our own perspectives that we had never been able to use with one another before just because it, it is so hard to actually understand on either end of the spectrum what, what the other person, uh, what your loved one is going through. And these tenants both validated things we had been feeling about our own experiences. They revealed things we probably did and often, they revealed things we actually did that were, that were not helpful to the other person in how they were experiencing these challenges and, and gave us a way forward. They revealed things we wanted to probably deny about our actions. They uh, validated things that we had been experiencing, and they just immediately helped us reach a better understanding of, of what it is we were dealing with and, and what the light at the end of the tunnel was too, how we could work um, together to, to, to reach a goal that, that we had been striving for, for for a long time. I think uh, one of the tenants that really, I think I started crying, number three, just thinking about you, our relationship and when going through the tenants, it really made me realize the burden my mental health was putting on our relationship. Uh, but I think one of the tenants that always hits me every time the loved ones read it is um, choosing to have healthy boundaries. Um, uh, does, and you choosing your own joy despite of the ups and downs of my mental health, um, which I think made me realize that I had been, you know, going over those healthy boundaries and that it really gave us the vocabulary to use when talking about those things. In the, in the part of the meeting where it's just loved ones um, talking to one another, uh, it is uh, such a reassuring and supportive uh, environment um, and an opportunity to, to talk openly and confidentially about something that is really hard to express um, to anyone else. Because uh, when, when you talk about challenges related to mental health, to, to someone who is totally foreign to that experience, it, it could often seem like you might be criticizing your loved one, uh, bringing them down, um, or, or complaining about something that wasn't actually a problem. But, but the baseline for Fresh Hope is that we all are coming from, from common ground and can understand what, what each person is going through. And though even though all our challenges are different, there's an understanding that everything we're talking about is done from a place of love and not from a place of criticism or, or seeking to diminish the person that we care about, but, but seeking to have our own, uh, sorry, seeking to have our own thoughts and feelings um, validated and, and reassured, but then also understanding how we can be more supportive and better people for, for the people we care about who are dealing, dealing with these challenges. Mine would be that there's no shame in wanting to better yourself. There is no shame in wanting to be a healthy person. We are a supportive, open group, and I wouldn't be here able to talk about my mental health issue or be so open about it if I hadn't gone to Fresh Hope, that it really made me realize there's nothing to be ashamed of having a mental health disorder, that it's a part of me and it's something I can work on, and that there's a lot of other people out there dealing with the same things I am, and it's okay, and it's okay to be open, and it's okay to share your story. Um, and a great part of Fresh Hope is that 
So much of the growing for me wasn't about sharing my own story, but it was hearing others share their story really helped me recognize some of the experiences that I've had or some of the feelings that I had and help me move forward in them listening to other stories um, and hearing of other people overcoming obstacles as well. Prior to coming to Fresh Hope, uh, mental health was not something we talked about uh, outside of our household much at all. I mean, it's not something that's easy to talk about with family members, with friends, um, it doesn't come up easily in conversation and, and it can be hard and scary to do so with someone who, who doesn't understand where you're coming from. And in many ways, I think, even though it may seem daunting at first, coming to Fresh Hope is the best place to talk about those types of issues, both because it's a judgment-free zone where everyone here in some way can relate to, to what you or your loved one is going through. It's not just about my mental health disorder and it's not just about me fixing me, it's also about you being able to talk about it too, even though you don't have a mental health disorder. And I think a lot of family members maybe feel isolated just as much as the person with the mental health disorder because they're the, they don't, you know, they aren't going to the doctor, they aren't going to a psychiatrist. And this really is a place for those people who are being affected by mental health to come and say, you can't talk to your friends about, your spouses or your daughter, you know, your mental health because you don't want to step over those boundaries with that your loved one. Um, but coming here, you can really you, be open about the struggles you're having without feeling selfish or, you know, attention seeking or making it all about you. Yeah, in, in a world where it is so difficult um, to find true connection with other people, this is a structured and supportive way uh, to be able to do that, to, to find other people who absolutely know what you're going through um, on either side, uh, either side of the issue um, and, and to find a way forward together um, and to start building community through those conversations. Uh, it's, it's a priceless opportunity. I think the biggest step for me is that I've always um, have struggled with unconditional love, feeling unconditional love from family, loved ones, friends, and being able to share my story, share my experiences, uh, share my mental health disorder, uh, with my church community has really helped me feel the God's unconditional love. And that has really been the major step for me forward into seeking help, overcoming my mental health disorder, to know that I'm not alone. And it's not that I'm just not alone in having a community here at CTK, or I'm not alone in having Josh, but something about go, go, going through the process of Fresh Hope has made me really feel that unconditional love from God and has given, given me the strength to really dig deep and work on myself and really dig deep and move forward and overcome certain things from my past or certain things from my childhood um, that has plagued me for a long time. And now I can uh, feel confident and safe and strong knowing that not only do I have this wonderful, wonderful community and practically family here at CTK, but that I am loved um, by God, that I have love and that I'll always be loved. Um, and for me, that's been a really, really important step because it's something I've always struggled with. As Christians, we know that we're imperfect people, but I think a lot of times in communities of faith, uh, people don't like to act like they're imperfect or show their imperfections or be real about what it means to be human um, and to be open and honest about that. And so to have an opportunity to relieve yourself of some of that burden of acting like everything is perfect when it's not and to know that you are loved and supported through all of that 
um, is is really such a blessing because it, your your faith community should be a place where you can really be yourself and be open about that um, and and know that you won't be judged or scorned or looked down upon for it. That's not always the case. That is the case at Christ the King and with fresh <laughs> hope. I mean, people who are supportive of everyone, um, d despite our flaws, despite our shortcomings, but knowing that collectively we're working together um, to try and, and be better people uh, is what it's all about. I think a big part of that is definitely for me, Brad, Pastor Brad, um, to have someone who is so open and honest about his own flaws, his own struggles, has just given me the strength to do the same. And I have so much respect for him and Caroline. Um, and they have really pushed me just from their presence, just from their openness to do the same, to be present at church, to be open, to be myself, and to be proud of myself for who I am. Um, and I just, I really couldn't be in the place that I am right now without Pastor Brad. I think you and I, in this day and age, it, there's struggles to find genuine people. There's struggles to find a community. There's we're all very lonely. We've learned through CMG that most of us are lonely. And you feel like that's just you and that everyone else is living this life where they're not lonely. They have these great connections. They have friends and all these things. And um, through what I've learned through the CMG process is that um, we're all kind of lonely and we're all kind of having these filters or these walls up. Um, but here at CTK and especially through Fresh Hope, I have found such a deep supportive community of people that I can trust, um, who listen to me when I talk, who I listen to when they talk, um, who I know are here to support me. And it also makes me feel good knowing that I'm here to support them as well. Um, to me, finding a community um, being part of a group um, of genuine people has been a very, very nice experience. Um, and there's, of course, plenty of people at CTK who are genuine people, uh, but especially in Fresh Hope, because we have something connecting all of us, um, it has just given us an instant bond. Um, and I really, anyone who walks through that door, I just instantly fall in love with hearing their story and um, want to be there to love and support them in the future. In this day and age, everyone is yearning for connection. And I think also what comes with that is, is a desire to help, but to not knowing, uh, to not, a desire to help, but not knowing how to do so. And uh, we, we all want to be there for other people, but we don't know how. Or we say some say things like, let me know if you need anything, which is <laughs> the least helpful phrase possible because <laughs> it puts the burden on someone who's going through something to reach out when they need it and they don't then want to be a burden onto someone else. Mm -hmm. But Fresh Hope provides an avenue where people who need help can get it, but then also others who have been through similar experiences can provide that help, can understand what someone else is going through and be there to, to be reassuring and to lend a hand about a tough topic. I mean, it's, it's hard enough to find someone to make a connection with over where they work or who their favorite sports team is. It's even harder to make a connection with someone over a mental health challenge. And, and Fresh Hope just immediately puts you on a level playing field. It puts you on the same page as everyone else because in some way they know what you're going through and that, that creates this instant community um, where meaningful relationships can be formed amongst people who, who want to help each other and who need help. Um, for me, that's easy because I think about it a lot. I hope that this is a place where everyone who attends or in our community can have deep, long-lasting friendships, relationships, um, bonds grown, you know. I 
hope for CTK. I hope for Fresh Hope that more people will get involved. And so there's more opportunities for all of us to connect and to have these deeper relationships, um, to support each other, to have a strong community of people. Um, because I think a big part of what we're missing in the larger world is the strong connection between one another, um, meeting people, having more than just the surface friendship or the surface acquaintances. I hope that all of these initiatives at CTK make lasting connections with one another and that we'll see real friendships, real bonds be made. Um, yeah, my hope is that is that through Fresh Hope and through the other ministries of care um, at CTK is that just more and more any stigma that is associated with a struggle, that, that is associated with someone who is in need of care, just falls away. That, that you know, it, it's, it's so crucial that, that Fresh Hope is a, a confidential and safe place for people to talk about their issues. But I think as, the, as more people encounter the program, I hope that, that more people are open about their experiences with Fresh Hope and in turn with mental health challenges. That, that in this supportive community where we're loving and serving the world, um, every day that, that this goes hand in hand with that, that accepting people for who they are, understanding their challenges, making a space that, that people can be open about their challenges only, only improves our community, only strengthens it, and only allows, you know, more chances for, for people to flourish. Um, and that, that the more we can all be open about whatever it is we're struggling with, with each other, instead of acting like we all have it together <laughs> all the time and, and aren't imperfect people, the better off we'll be personally, the better off we'll be as a community of faith, the better off we'll be, we'll be as, as people who are, who are loving and serving the world. No one here to guide you Now you're on your beside you still you're not alone no one is alone truly no one is alone sometimes people to see the light now 
Let us pray. Loving God, we ask that you stay close to those whose mental health challenges have made their everyday lives unmanageable and hopeless. Help us all choose the help and support of others to overcome our struggles and find the joy of life again. God, also be near to those who are feeling helpless and hopeless in the face of their loved one's mental health challenge. May we rely on others to help us learn more about our loved one's disorder while choosing healthy boundaries for ourselves. Together, Together may we, we may remind, remind one, one another of, of your, your love, love, O Lord, Lord and, and that, that you, you can, can do all things. things. You, you are the source of our hope and our strength, strength and, and through you we can, can overcome all things. God of compassion, you've seen how our mental health challenges can affect those we love. Help us find the strength and courage to overcome our challenges for our own good and for the good of those who care about us. God, help us respond to our loved one's mental health challenges in ways that build up these relationships. Help us find the words that will communicate the utmost support and encouragement. Together, Together with, God's with God's help, we may, may we lovingly speak the truth to one, one another and heal, heal the broken parts of our past. past. God of life, help those who struggle with mental health disorders to find the courage to believe that they can live full and rich lives spite of their diagnosis. Bring people into our lives that will help us to push through when all we want to do is give up. Bring clarity to those times we do not understand one another. Forgive us when we push our loved ones too fast too soon. Teach us to adopt healthy, appropriate ways to contribute to our loved one's healing and recovery. Together, Together we, we can, can make, make the kind, kind of progress, progress that we, we didn't, didn't think, think was, was even possible. possible. Show, Show us how, how to lovingly hold one another, another accountable for learning, growing, and choosing to push through in hope, hope for a better, better tomorrow. God of all strength and wisdom, show us what it is like to live a life of hope. Help us to believe, regardless of our feelings, that there is help and hope for our entire being. God, share your strength and wisdom with those who love and care for people with mental health challenges. May our own happiness not be defined by their happiness, but by the promise of life that you offer to all. Together, Together we, we remind, remind each, each other that, that our hope and joy come from you, O Lord. Lord. May we, we live, live in the in hope and comfort that, that our future rests in your hands. Creating God, for those of us who need medication to help with everyday functioning, Bless the work of the medical community as they continue to develop treatments for mental health disorders. Remind us that in addition to medications, we are capable of exploring new ways of thinking and acting that can contribute to our healing and recovery. Forgive us, God, for the ways in which we contribute to shared patterns of dysfunctional living. Grant us the humility to admit when we don't have all the answers. Rather than thinking our loved one's mental health diagnosis isn't our problem, help us to learn new behaviors that will create healthy, balanced lives for all. Together, Together may we, we strive, strive to choose freedom over suffering and find joy in living in a state of heightened self-awareness and knowledge in action. God of all hopefulness, Help us remember that our personhood is not defined by our mental health challenges. Help us overcome the fear and stigma that is often associated with mental health diagnosis. We feel misunderstood. Show us that we can still live a life filled with hope and joy. God, help us remember and believe that our loved one's mental health challenge is just a small part of who they are, of who they were created to be. Teach us how to separate the disorder from the people we love, how to forgive and let go of the hurts of the past, and how to be a meaningful part of our loved one's recovery. 
Together we share in each other's victories, celebrate our whole personhood, and rejoice that God's kingdom welcomes all who see him. And now, may the God of all love and all life, the God of all compassion, wisdom, and strength, and the God of all creation bless you and keep you, both now and forever. Amen. Amen.